Welcome back everybody, my name is Tucker and in today's video I'm going to be doing something pretty different because I tweeted this the other day man like I don't I don't just want to do the same stuff all the time that everybody else is doing it's no disrespect to everybody else in the NBA YouTube community there's a lot of people that make a lot of really good content but I just want to you know try some new things and see what works and see what you guys enjoy so today essentially I'm just going to be talking about what my ideal situation would be if I was an NBA player and I'm doing this for a couple of reasons one because I think it would be a really engaging topic to kind of hear what you guys have to say about what your own situation would be ideally if you were an NBA player so obviously once we kind of get going on the video and you understand where I'm going with this leave those down in the comment section below but also you know just be fun to do and to talk about but if you're new here and you've never seen this channel before if you like NBA stuff then consider subscribing I upload basically every single day okay so as we get started here some of the stuff is gonna be like real and actually like personal to me just based off you know my height and some of the stuff physically and then also some stuff that is just you know hypothetical that I've just come up with uh, in terms of what my ideal situation would be as an NBA player and we're just gonna go through this in a couple of different categories the first one is like position slash role right and there's there's a lot of different ways to go with this for me personally I would like to be more of like a two or a three like a shooting guard or a small forward I'm six foot four so if we're talking about like the real NBA I'm not you know very quick at all uh, you know I played a little bit in high school I wasn't very good but I'm just too slow right but in terms of, of, of where I would actually like to be. I'd like to be, you know, kind of a two or a three because I get a good amount of shots. You know, I can be kind of a secondary ball handler, someone that can be off the ball and be a really good shooter because that's a valuable role. That's a role that is utilized a ton on basically every single team and is a role that, again, is just provides a lot of value to teams around the league. But this is the interesting part uh, in terms of my role. For me personally, like, I don't want to be the guy like I don't want to be the star player I don't want to be the guy that's coming down and and you know the offense relies on me to, to to create everything I'd much rather be an occasional playmaker type guy but someone that's gonna be you know off the ball a good amount so kind of in like a JJ Redick type role but you know a better defender obviously uh, someone that actually you know contributes uh, a little bit more on the defensive end than what Redick does uh, in real life but that would be kind of my ideal role and there's a couple of reasons for that uh, a lot of the you know the blame and the negativity that comes down on those types of players that are you know like the guy for their teams I just don't want to deal with that like my ideal scenario as an NBA player would be to live this this awesome life and to be able to play basketball for a living and to have as little stress come along with that as possible obviously there's gonna be a lot of stress that comes along with it when you're just talking about you know the day in and day out grind all the travel you know being away from my from you know my family or from where I grew up uh, there's a lot of stress that goes into that and the success of the team if things are are not going well so I don't want to add on top of that having to deal with you know the distractions of being the guy and all that pressure I'd rather just be the guy that you're kicking the ball out to you know I'm occasionally making plays uh, that would be kind of my ideal role as well as position for me personally and like I said like there's plenty of positives about that and I'm gonna get to some negatives of, of just my whole situation in general here towards the end of the video but for me personally like I said just not having that pressure understanding what my role is very clearly and very defined on basically any team right just understand Understanding exactly what the team is going to ask from me on a day in day out basis would limit that stress and I would live a great life and I'd you know make between like a you know, the seven to eight to ten million dollar range as well so I'd be you know very well set up uh, for life and it's also something that would allow me to have you know a longer career right it's something that from the time that I come in the league to the time that my career is over for you know 10 to 12 years I'm gonna be a really productive and a valuable player so long as I continue to work on my skills and things like that and that's not something that is necessarily gonna go down with age right that off ball shooting and things like that uh, so it allows for you know a long earning potential which is another key for me in terms of you know making a good amount of money for a long period of time uh, and then potentially if I wanted to get into coaching and stuff like that after my career was over that would be an option as well as you know someone that's not a star player because typically you know those types of players uh, end up becoming coaches more often than like the you know the big stars okay so with that established the the other part of this is where would I want to play right like if I was just to say this is a team that I would put myself on it would be for me personally it would be the Dallas Mavericks and there's a couple of reasons for this one I think Dallas would be a cool place to live uh, there's a lot of stuff to do there there's some tax advantages to living in Dallas as well or to living in the state of Texas in general and then the team specifically like I would love to play with Luca he seems like a guy that you know is 
people would want to play for. They have a really nice infrastructure in place with the ownership as well as, uh, you know, Rick Carlisle as coach. They've had a long history of success. And, you know, if I was putting myself as a rookie right now in the league, I would, you know, line my timeline right along with Luca. And I'm pretty confident that he wouldn't ever go anywhere unless something pretty drastic changes. And I know that I could, you know, depend on that and stick with that, you know, if I wanted to stay in Dallas my entire career. And again, that's that stability and, and, and limiting the stress uh, that I talked about in the beginning of the video that would be a big deal for me on top of just you know the joy of being able to play with someone like that and Chris Haps Porzingis they've got all these other pieces they're a team right like they have people with clearly defined roles they have plenty of role players as well as their stars and they're a team that has upside moving forward has moves to make and should within the next you know couple of seasons be one of the true championship contenders in the league as long as Luca and KP stay healthy and that just seems like one of the better situations for you know my defined role that you can find across you know the entire NBA. And having that kind of, of structure of, of having those two guys that I know are better than I am and I know are kind of the focal points of the organization, that eliminates any possibility of me having to be like thrust into a role that I'm not comfortable with and, and trying to, you know, do too much and trying to do more than what I'm capable of when I'm placing myself in this hypothetical situation. But even with all those positives, you know, the location, being able to play with Luca, being on a team that has, you know, a good situation long term, I'm in a role that I'm happy with, uh, making good money, you know, there's not a lot of stress going on there that doesn't mean that there's not negatives because in this scenario i'm allowing myself to realize that you know changes could be made and i could be involved in in trade talks and with the specific kind of situation i put myself in you know that is more possible for me than it would be had i said i want to be the guy and make 40 million dollars a year you know it's um it can you know, happen a lot easier for me to be moved if I'm making seven to $10 million and I'm a shooter, I would try and make myself as valuable as possible as long as I continue to be happy in Dallas to make sure that, you know, I, I stick around and that's a place that, that that values what I can provide and I, and I you know, stay and, and I don't have to worry about being traded. But that would definitely be a huge negative and kind of goes against some of the stuff I talked about in the beginning of the video, you know, not having all that stress on me, like not knowing, you know, if I could be traded at any moment could definitely play a big role. And now that that's going to happen regardless, right? Like that's going to happen no matter what position I put myself in because trades can always happen depending on the scenario of the team starts to be really bad. Even if I'm the star player, you know, they could choose to trade me and move on from me. Uh, but again, it's just, it's a little bit more viable and possible just given the situation I put myself in. But at the end of the day, I think that would be a really cool life to live, to be in Dallas. That is, you know, a different city that I've been to a little bit in my life, but I haven't, you know, really gotten a chance to explore that place all that much. I think it would be a cool place to live. Like I said, there's financial advantage advantages it's an organization it's a team and it's a franchise that is that is stable and knows what they're doing and understands how to be successful as a coach that has won a championship and you know that would definitely be one of my goals would be to be on a really good team that has the possibility of, of going to the finals and winning a championship it has the long-term sustainability and success of having Luca and KP those guys are going to be locked up for the next couple of years it seems like Luca wants to stay that would be a great person to play with and it's just ideal for my own scenario right like there's definitely other places around the league that if my situation was different, you know, the role that I put myself in, the, the monetary amount, the, the position, if all that stuff was different, there'd definitely be other places that would make a little bit more sense, right? Like if I wanted to be the guy, the star player and Luca's here in, in Dallas, that wouldn't really work for me. But for me personally, again, my goals were to limit stress, to be in a, in a role in a situation that I enjoy and that I know is going to be sustainable long term. And I think that Dallas and, and this situation I put myself in would be, a, you know, perfect for me, honestly. And you never know what could happen, right? Things could always change and maybe it wouldn't work out exactly the way that I would hope or or those two guys aren't going to be as good maybe moving forward as I think that they will be. But just given the success of that franchise historically over the last 20 or so years on a consistent basis, uh, that would be a really cool place for me to be. And there you have it. That is going to be the end of today's video. I thank you all very much for watching. Like I said in the beginning of the video, man, like I, I just, I want to continue to try different things and I want to try and do stuff like this that isn't just talking about the NBA specifically all the time, but it's still basketball related stuff. Um, just want to be a little bit different. I want to involve you guys. I want to, you know, see where you guys are at. This is a really cool way to, to kind of engage with y'all and, and understand where your thought process is and how different it could be from mine going into this. You know, I, I really focused on, on the situation and what kind of life I would live, not just within basketball, but outside of it as well. And for some of y'all, maybe the focus would be more on, you know, the, the actual basketball part of it and, and your happiness with that specific situation. So uh, just kind of understanding the different 
mindsets is just something that I was really interested in here. And again, I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I appreciate all y'all that, you know, that showed support on this video and uh, I appreciate you guys. And like I said, my name is Tucker. I thank you all so much for watching. If you missed any of my previous videos, then be sure to check out the boxes on screen. Thanks again. And I'll see you all next time.